Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below. And I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me, to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh He's Toxic Period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video, and this video is titled, These are five reasons why women are actually the real prize and not men. Right, ladies? So these are my top five reasons why a woman is actually the prize over a man. Now, wait, wait, wait. Before y'all get to talking and blah, 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 I'ma already address it so it ain't no confusion, all right? Are both the man and the woman the prize? Yes. The man is the prize. The woman is the prize. Y'all both the prize, okay? So before y'all get to going in on me, who the prize, who more the prize, y'all both the prize, okay? Men got their own duties and responsibility to civilization, humanity, and society. And women have their own duties and responsibilities for humanity, civilization, and society as well, right? Men need women and women need men and the children ultimately need both parents in their life, right? Children need a mother and children need a father in their life, right? And, you know, that's how it should be, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not in disagreement when, you know, the the woman is only the prize or the man is just the prize or whatever, right? Y'all both the prize, okay? The woman the prize, the man the prize, everybody the prize, all right? So just to clear that out the way before y'all get to, oh, but what about the men? Well, why ain't the men the prize? Why are women only the prize? And women did it. Y'all both the prize, okay? But, however... What I will say as a man is that women, let's be real, a woman is the backbone to society. The women are the ones that, you know, are carrying life. The women are the ones that, hey, 
contribute a whole lot to society that I really want to focus on. Do men contribute to society, build things, do amazing things? Yes, okay? But we ain't talking about that. This is not a men's channel. We talking about the women, right? And we talking about why women are actually the ultimate prize in society and especially in a man's life. You know what I'm saying? Because a woman is so many great qualities, is so many great things and attributes and characteristics that women possess that, you know, help the backbone to society. Y'all remember how y'all grandma, most of y'all grandmamas is the one that hold the family together. Right or wrong? Don't your grandmama or your mama or a lot of times it's a woman figure that's holding the whole family together. When big mama pass away, when the grandmama pass away, hey, guess what? The family is no longer what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times. The family structure ain't always what it was when big mama or grandmama passed. You know what I'm saying? So I'ma explain in this video a few reasons why the woman is the real prize, the actual prize. Yes, the man is too, but we gonna focus on women and what they contribute to society and what they contribute to a man's life. Cause let's be real, a lot of women, they can really make or break a man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, especially in society today, Women are excelling in life, you know? Women are, you know, getting degrees. Women are getting good jobs, taking care of everybody, taking care of their kids, taking care of, you know, everything, right? And unfortunately, a lot of men, you know, they may take care of their kids or may not take care of their kids. But a lot of men, you know, they have the option to opt out or just leave or walk away from, you know, being a father or, you know, just from their responsibilities. A lot of men just can just leave. Hey, I got you pregnant. I can just go and do what I want to do and rip and run in these streets. And a woman is the one stuck with all the responsibility a lot of times with raising the children or with, you know, just taking care of everything themselves, holding it down by themselves, you know, so... Women, hey, you know, you got to clap it up for the strong, powerful women in society that, you know, actually make things happen. It's so many great things about women that a lot of men don't want to acknowledge or a lot of men, you know, they try to, you know, dim a woman's light. They try to say, oh, a woman not the prize, the man is the prize, and who the prize, and who the prize. We're going to talk about who the real prize is, okay? Yes, both of y'all the prize, but y'all know who the real prize is. The woman is the prize, okay? So, we going to jump right into this video, right? And per usual, you already know, I'm going to give you my top five reasons why I say the woman is the prize overall, and not necessarily the man, even though the man is a prize too in his own way. But we talking about the women, okay? So we gonna jump right to it. We going number one. So number one, the first reason why a woman is the ultimate prize in society, the first reason why a woman is the real prize in civilization, number one is men are the ones that work, have to work their whole life just to support a woman and the children. So you tell me who the real prize is. If a man, let's think about it like this. Me as a man, right? I'm expected to, you know, work really hard. I got to work day in and day out. I got to get all these resources. I got to get all these assets. I have to work my whole life blood, sweat, and tears to try to, you know, acquire a woman. I have to have assets. I have to have things that attract a woman to me in order for me to procreate with her. In order for me to have sex with this woman and start a family, 
I first need resources to attract that woman to even be able to reproduce with that woman, right? That's just how it is. And just like the animal kingdom itself, right? You know, men are the ones that go out and, you know, they acquire whatever resources, right? Let's talk about the male bird. What does the male bird have to do? The male bird has to get sticks and leaves and all types of resources to build this nest, right? I have to build a comforting spot, a home. I have to provide resources. I have to work and acquire assets to be able to build this beautiful nest, right? The male bird builds this beautiful nest for what? So he can attract the female bird. So when the female bird comes over and sees the beautiful nest that this bird, the male bird, has to fly all over town, all over the city, all out the city, out the state. They had to fly south for the winter time, come back, all types of stuff, get all these resources, all these sticks and leaves and, and dirt and, and grass and whatever it needed to build this nest. It had to work hard to build this nest just to attract, this just to attract the female bird. And the female bird can still accept or reject you know, the male bird and the nest. If the female bird comes to that nest and she not feeling that nest, guess what happened? You will not be able to procreate with that bird. The male bird, even though he spent all that time acquiring all these assets to build this nest, the female bird got to say so. The female bird can say, oh, that's a beautiful nest. Okay, I will procreate with you and we can, you know, have little baby birds together and we can, you know, lay eggs together, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, all that, right? We can start a family, right? But if I'm not feeling this nest or I don't feel safe in this nest or this nest got some holes in it or this nest don't look you know, well put together, if it don't look secure, if it don't look like a good nest for me to lay these eggs, then I'm not going to procreate or have sex or mate with you, right? You know, it's called mating. You know, they don't mate. You know, we have sex, they mate, whatever. So the male bird and the female bird, you know, if the female bird is you know, looking at this nest and she like it, then they can mate together and they can, you know, have a family, whatever. If she not feeling it, then guess what she gonna do? Go to the next bird, the next male bird and see what his nest looking like and see what his nest looking like and see what his nest looking like. You know what I'm saying? So the male bird, more of the story, the moral of the story is the male bird is the one that had to acquire all these assets to attract the female bird. Now you tell me who the prize is. Is it the male bird or is it the, or is it the female bird that he actually had to work hard to attract? Just to even attract, you know what I'm saying? Just to procreate with so they can have babies and continue their bloodline. The male in all aspects of the animal kingdom usually majority of the time the male is the one that tries to attract the female now some cases you know other animals you know it might be vice versa where you know the woman is the pursuer or whatever but in majority of the animal kingdom the male is the one that tries to attract the female right look at peacocks if you look at a peacock you know a peacock with all the feathers right all these beautiful feathers, right? The male peacock is the one that got all these beautiful feathers that say, hey, look at me. Look at me with all these big, beautiful feathers. I'm doing this little dance to get your attention, the other female peacock, right? And the female peacock may not even look his way, may not even like him like that, may not even think that his feathers are beautiful or nothing. 
So, you know, the female peacock be like, no, nah, I don't want it. You know, the female bird, the female peacock, the female woman is the one that's in the position of power. The female period is usually the one that accepts or denies the man or the male, you know, species, whatever it is. So the male is the one that acquires all these assets just to attract the female or has to look so pretty, so beautiful, or has to, you know, attract, has something going on to attract this female whatever, right? So it's the same thing when it comes to us as human beings, you know what I'm saying? And we forget that we in the animal kingdom too. But, you know, we still animals. You know what I'm saying? We're still mammals. We still, you know, our biological instincts are still the same, regardless of how advanced civilization, how advanced we think we are. We all are still classified as mammals, right? Or animals. You know what I'm saying? So, men, the man has to work his whole life. A man has to get a car, a house. Man has to get money, go to school. The man has to, you know, get a good job. The man has to, you know, start that business. The man has to have something of value, security, for the woman to even have any type of interest in him. Now, you tell me who the prize is. Who's the prize? That right there tell you who the prize is. If I got to work so hard, get all these assets just to get you, who, who's the prize? Me or you? You the prize. The woman is the prize because I'm doing all this for you, your highness. I'm doing all this for you, your majesty. I'm doing all this just to impress the woman, just to tell the woman or show the woman, hey, I am secure. I have security over here. And if you procreate with me, if you mate with me, if you have sex with me, you will be well taken care of and our offspring will be well taken care of. So if the man got to work his whole life to get all these assets just to get a woman and a woman, all she got to do is show up because she carries life and the male wants to reproduce and the male wants to procreate and have sex and mate with the female. Who's the prize? The man or the woman? The woman is the ultimate prize of civilization. Because you working so hard to try to get her and she got the womb that you trying to get. She got the ultimate prize. The ultimate prize is her womb, her eggs, you know, and it's still eggs. Even in humans, humans got eggs. Human women, you got eggs. You know what I'm saying? Hey, a lot of animals lay eggs. You know, it's eggs. That's what a man is looking for to procreate. He wants to procreate with you to carry on his bloodline. So in order for a man to carry on his bloodline, he has to attract a woman. If he does not attract a woman, his bloodline will no longer exist. I'm going to say that one more time. If a man, a male, whatever the species is, does not succeed in attracting the female, then guess what? The male's bloodline will be extinct because he can't find no woman to procreate with. Now, you tell me who the prize is. That's why men are so desperate to get a woman and have to work hard their whole life to get all these assets to attract a woman. It's all for procreation. It's all for reproduction. It's all for sex. It's all just to have babies for the next generation. And the woman holds the key. The woman has literally the incubator. The woman has the womb. The woman has everything the men wants. Otherwise, his bloodline will be extinct and no longer in existence, right? So that's number one. You tell me who the prize is, the male or the female, the man or the woman. You tell me who the prize is, right? So number two, the second reason why the woman is the real prize over the man and not the other way around. The woman is actually the prize. 
Number two is men are natural hunters. So guess what? Men are hunters. You done heard this your whole life. Maybe your mama told you, your grandmama told you, your auntie told you. Somebody, you have heard this term before, that men are hunters, right? And since the beginning of time, men have always been literally the hunters. Before civilization became what it is today, back in the day, caveman days, guess what? The men had to go out and he had to chase down whatever animal he could find and, you know, capture it and bring it home to the woman. And, you know, show her, hey, I went out and I caught this buffalo. Hey, I went out and I caught this whatever. You know, whatever animal we needed to survive, I had to chase it down and hunt it down to be able to bring it home and, you know, be able to eat. And they use animal fur as clothing. They use the animal meat as food. You know, so the men are natural hunters. When you think about hunters and gatherers, who you think was the hunters? The men. Who you think was the gatherers? Mostly women. Mostly women. The women were the one gathering all the resources that the men brought home. You know what I'm saying? And, or, you know, sometimes the men will be the gatherers too. They would gather resources or whatever. But the men were usually the hunters. The men were the ones going out with bow and arrows and, you know, spears. And they was going out with, you know, all types of weapons, you know, just to be able to get these animals or hunt these animals, right? Just to bring home. So men were always natural hunters from the jump, right? So when you know that, what's the prize? You know what I'm saying? I'll put it like this. Men are hunters. Men are basically like the lion in the jungle. And you as a woman, you're the gazelle, right? You the gazelle or the deer or the, the antelope. You know, you are the, the deer, that's sipping from, you know, the river, right? Keep in mind, y'all watched Animal Planet before. You are the deer or the gazelle sipping the water out the pond, right? The lion, the man, is the one hiding in the bushes. He hiding in the bushes watching you because he say, I'm hungry. I got to get and I got to chase down this prey so I can eat and I can survive. So you tell me who the prize is. If guess what? If this lion does not eat the gazelle or the deer, the lion is hungry. If the lion get too hungry, then guess what? The lion will be extinct because it can't eat. So if the lion is chasing the prize, who's the prize? The gazelle is the prize. If the man is chasing the woman, who's the prize? The woman is the prize. Whoever is chasing whatever, if I am chasing you, you the prize. So I'll give you another example so you can better understand, right? So let's talk about runners in a race. These runners are in the race or they're in the marathon, right? They're running around this track, right? Picture a whole bunch of runners, you know, on your mark, get set, go. You know, they all run and men are literally competing against each other for what? The prize. For what? The trophy, right? The gold medal, the trophy. Guess who the gold medal is? Guess who the trophy is? The woman is the trophy. Why you think they call them trophy wives? Because I won you over. That's why the, the term trophy wife is even in existence. Because the woman is the prize, literally. The woman is the trophy, literally. When you get a woman, it's one of the biggest assets a man can have. So you got a whole bunch of runners in a race, meaning you got a whole bunch of men trying to procreate with you. All it is is just sex. Men are trying to advance their bloodline. 
Men are trying to conquer women, to have sex with them, to reproduce and carry on their genes, their DNA, and their bloodline for generations to come. And of course, you as a woman, you got your pick of men that are racing and they pushing each other out the way. They are tripping over each other, trying to get to you the prize, and they running as fast as they can acquiring all these assets and resources on the way there to the finish line. And once they get to the finish line, AKA once they get some booty or once they have you and you know, they got your attention, they got you to, you know, warm up to them and stuff like that. Now the ultimate prize is I can now have sex with this woman, procreate with her and carry on my genes carry on my bloodline, and carry on my DNA, right? That's what it's all about. We forget that it ain't just about sex. Sex, what is sex for? Sex is really for reproduction, having babies. But what we forget is we be thinking that we just look at the pleasure side, you know? We just look at, you know, sex for pleasure. You know, most people just think about having sex for pleasure, but why is sex even pleasurable in the beginning? Sex is pleasurable because Mother Nature, God, whatever you believe in, decided that, hey, you know, to encourage you to want to reproduce, to populate the earth. If that didn't happen, it wouldn't be no people on this earth. If men were not so thirsty for sex, if men did not want sex so bad to carry on their genes and their bloodline biologically, it wouldn't be no people in this world. So think about that. You know, when you always say all these men want is sex, that's all these men want is sex. Yes, his biological instinct, you forget that we animals, our biological instinct is to what? Want to reproduce so that we can carry on our bloodline for generations to come. Otherwise, our bloodline will be extinct if we don't reproduce or procreate with the female or the woman, right? So that's just what it is. So these runners, the runners, let's go back to the runners in the race. The runners in the race, they trying to get the trophy, the prize. They trying to win something. So the woman is the ultimate prize because the woman is the one that all these men are running after trying to chase. If you trying to chase something, what's the prize? Are you the prize or is that the prize? You know, is what you chasing the prize or are you the prize, the chaser? Is the chaser the prize? No, the chaser is not the prize. The, the thing or the person being chased is the prize. That's why you chasing it. You chasing it because you want it because it's the prize. So the reason why men are chasing women is because women are the prize. That's why men are so desperate and thirsty and eager to have a woman because women are the prize. Duh. And that's why it's literally unnatural for a woman to chase a man. It's not natural. That's why it never worked out when a woman try to chase after a man, it never worked out because what? Men are hunters. Remember that. That's why you the prize because men are hunters. That's why, okay? So that's number two. So number three, the third reason why women are the real prize over men. Yeah, both of y'all the prize, blah, blah, blah. But the woman is the prize. Let's be real. Number three is women possess so many benefits that men may not be able to produce or even have, right? So I'm putting it like this. Now, let's think about this. What's one of the first things that men say, you know, when, when a man describes a good woman, what's one of the first things he say? Oh, I want a woman that could cook. I want a woman that could clean. I want a woman that give good sex. I want a woman that's nurturing. I want a woman that's feminine. I want a woman that's loving, supportive. I want a woman that's loyal, that's kind, that's beautiful. All these things, right? But what do most women say when they want a man? Protect their provider. 
Right? <laughs> right or wrong? Right or wrong? Most women say, I want a man that's protector and provider. You know, and as long as he treat me right and he paying the bills, you know, and, you know, he care about me, then that's all that matter. You know, for the most part, as long as this man treats you right and he is secure financially and he's a good leader, you know, most women are cool with that. You know, of course, you want a faithful man, a respectful man, honest man. Of course, you want all that. But majority of the time, when a woman, when you ask a woman, what do you want in a man or what's a good man? Most women will say protective provider, right? So basically, you know, when it comes to a man, you know, if we compare the two together, right? Protector and provider, that means that, yeah, you protect, you know, the household. You protect all your assets that you worked hard for. You protect the woman that you attracted in your kids that you, you know, procreated and made, right? So, yeah, you're supposed to protect all the stuff that you worked hard for and all the stuff that you acquired, right? Yeah, you're supposed to protect it and provide, of course. If you're going to be the leader and whatever, you're supposed to provide, meaning you're supposed to have security, meaning you're supposed to pay some bills. So, as long as you're protecting stuff, you know, you're the big, strong man, you you protection, you the muscle, you protection, and you paying bills, acquiring resources so that, you know, the woman is comfortable and she feels secure. And that's all the main thing that you got to do, you know, compared to the woman, you want the woman to cook your meals. You want the woman to cook all these home cooked meals. What's wrong with the man? Why the man want a woman to cook so bad? Why he can't cook? Why are you so dependent on a woman to cook? Because you was dependent on your mama. Like how your mama used to cook for you. You know what I'm saying? So you want a woman to cook for you just like your mama did. Then you want a woman to clean your whole house. Clean for you. Wash your clothes and do laundry. Fold your clothes up. Vacuum. Spray down stuff. Wipe down stuff. You want this woman to do all these things like your mama did. You know what I'm saying? Then you say, okay, I want a woman, you know, with sex. You know, of course, you know, what I said before, men want to procreate with you to advance their bloodline, right? And then, you know, you want a woman that's feminine, nurturing. Why, why does a man want a woman that's nurturing and feminine? Because femininity is one of the most powerful energies in the world, in the whole universe, a feminine woman, a nurturing woman, if you give a woman anything, anything, she will multiply it. Women are literally, you know, the multipliers of the world. If you give a woman a house, guess what she make it? A home. If you give a woman groceries, guess what she make it? A full five-star meal. If you give a woman, you know, sex, whatever, she give you a baby. Life, life, every single one of y'all, whether you a man or a woman watching this right now, it's mostly women, but it don't matter who you are watching this right now, every last one of us, including me, myself, came out of a woman, right or wrong. Then all of us came out of a woman. All of us, the whole existence of human nature, society, civilization, humanity came out of a woman. You tell me who the prize is. I came out of a woman, my mother. You came out of your mother. They came out of their mother. Y'all can argue with whoever, but who the real prize? The woman. Because without the woman, it wouldn't be no people. Yes, it do take two. Yes, it do take a man and a woman to procreate. But... The man is the one that's trying to procreate the most. That's why men want sex so bad because they're trying to advance their bloodline, you know? And we all came out of a woman. So who's the prize? Women need to be the one protected. Women need to be the ones that's really held up in society on a pedestal. Women need to be the ones that are really just loved and, and praised. And, you know, women need to be the one that's really cared about and that's valued and respected. You know what I'm saying? All of us came out of a woman. You tell me who the prize is. A lot of y'all women watching this right now, did you or did you not give birth to a child? 
You gave birth to a child. A lot of y'all gave birth nine, nine long months, nine long months of labor. A woman had to dilate how many centimeters? Like 10, what do they say? 10 centimeters that a woman had to dilate, right? All this stuff. You tell me who the prize is. A woman carries life and has to push that life out. A woman is the portal. Women are literally the portal to human life, to life. You breathing right now is because of a woman, because you came out of a woman. A woman, you was incubating, you was being, you know, held and kept and developed inside of a woman. You tell me who the prize is, you know? And then even when you come out, even when you come out of your mother, where, where you at? You right here on your mother, on her chest. She over here feeding you the milk out of her bosom, you know what I'm saying, to feed you. Now you tell me who the prize is. A man can't do that. A man can't do none of that. All the men do is just shoot out, you know, whatever. I ain't gonna get too graphic, but shoot out whatever out of his reproductive organs. And the woman is the one that grows it, that multiplies it. The woman is the one that magnifies it. If you give a woman anything, she gonna grow it. If you give a woman anything, she gonna multiply it. A woman can make another one of you, 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 you. All of us came out of a woman. You tell me who the prize is. A lot of men and a lot of men, they'll even tell you, I wasn't nothing without my wife. Without my wife, I didn't go to the doctor. Most men, most of these men can't do nothing without a woman. Most of these men ain't going to go to the doctor on their own. A lot of these men not going to, you know, set up day appointments, you know, dentist appointments, any type of appointment, doctor appointment, you know, eye doctor appointment. They not going to do that on their own. Majority of the time, it's a woman doing it. Majority of the time, all the paperwork, all the tedious work, all the detail, the oriented detail, guess where that come from? A woman. Most times, if you go inside somebody's house, guess who decorated that house? A woman. Anytime you go inside somebody's house, even if it's a man and a woman living there, who designed that house? Who the one put all the decorations together? Who the one that color coordinated this and that? Who the one did the interior design? A woman. Yeah, the man might have paid for the house. Yeah, the man might have provided the house. Yeah, the, the man might have, you know, paid the bills in the house. But guess what? It's not a home without a woman. And every single man knows that whether he want to admit it or not. A home is not a home without a woman. That's why even single men, you know, they be wanting women to come over. Come cook for me. Come cook for me. Come clean my house. Come give me sex. Come give me emotional support. You know why? Because they know... That's why they want a good woman. That's why they want a woman, period. Because they know a lot of these men will not be able to survive without a woman. I'm going to give you something else. The Bible, whoever believe in the Bible, a lot of y'all watch this. You know, y'all Christians or y'all spiritual or y'all believe in God at least. You follow the Bible. The Bible even said, okay, Adam was created first, right? They got Adam and Eve, whatever, real quick. Adam was created first, right? But God himself said, Adam, um, you lonely, brother. I need to create you a companion, a helper, a helpmate. You can't do this by yourself, Adam. You cannot survive by yourself, Adam. You are lonely by yourself, Adam. So I'm going to put you to sleep. This is what your Bible say. I'm going to put you to sleep and I'm going to take your rib, your rib out of you. And I created woman out of you. You tell me who the prize is. If a man was good on his own, God would never create a woman. If the man was good on his own, God would have never created the female counterpart. God would have never created a woman. If man was good on his own, God would have never created a woman. It just would have been just man. 
But God himself said, that's not good. It's not good that man be alone. It's not good that man be by himself. He needs a woman by his side to help him take care of the garden. Now you tell me who the prize is. If you were so much of the prize, Mr. Man, then you wouldn't need no woman to help you do nothing. If you was okay by yourself, you wouldn't need no helpmate. But you need a helpmate to multiply and grow and give that feminine touch to the garden. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the man, you know, yeah, Adam might have been, you know, helping to, you know, water the plants and do this and do that. But to give it that feminine touch where, you know, give it that love and, you know, to tend to the plants, to grow everything the way the garden was supposed to be. It's only a touch that a woman can do. And every man knows that. It's so many beautiful things that women create. Most men are not able to do it by themselves. Are they capable of doing it by themselves? Maybe, maybe not. But majority of the time, they looking for a woman to fill that role. And what's the role of a man? You know, yeah, he protector and provider. He gonna pay the bills. He gonna protect. And he gonna, you know, give you, you know, the life. But you the one that create. And you the one to develop the life inside you. And, yeah, he fertilizes your eggs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he pollinates your flowers. But you the one that grow the flower and make it bloom. And then plant other seeds for generations to come. You tell me who the prize is, the man or the woman, right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth reason why the woman is actually the prize over the man and not the other way around. We know who the real prize is, the woman the prize. Number four is... Women literally make men better men. You hear a lot of men say, you know, if it wasn't for my wife or if it wasn't for my, my woman, if it wasn't for my girlfriend, I don't know where I would have been at. A lot of these men, they was in the streets, right? They was ripping and running in the streets. And something could have happened to them while they ripping and running in these streets. But they fell in love with you. Now they at home now, safe. You know what I'm saying? You changed this man's life. This man, before you came in the picture, guess what this man was eating? Chicken wings. This man was eating french fries, pizza, burgers. He was eating terribly bad, right? This man was just eating whatever. This man was just eating whatever was available to him. Fast food. This man was eating all fast food, right? But when the woman came to his life, Oh, now he eating vegetables and stuff. Now he want to eat fruit and stuff. Now he over here sipping on smoothies and stuff. Now he over here, you know, drinking water. He ain't used to drink no water before. He used to drink, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Juice, whatever, you know? But now he drink water now. Now he, you know what I'm saying? So literally... A man, his whole life instantly gets better with the right woman. I will say that. With the right woman, your life instantly get better. You know, you start eating better. You start, now you want to work out more. You care more about your health now. You know, you ain't used to go to the doctor before. Like I said before, a lot of these guys don't go to the doctor before. Now that the woman in your life, you going to the doctor, you getting checkups regularly, you know what I'm saying? You care more about yourself, your health. And then this woman going to hold you accountable. When you messing up in life, your woman going to check you. When you messing up or when your money ain't right or when you start getting lazy, your woman going to let you know, hey, brother, you better get it together because I'm not about to be in no unstable environment. I'm not about to be in an insecure or unsecure environment, right? I need security. Femininity thrives in security and in love. You know what I'm saying? And if that man is not providing that, the woman going to let him know. That's why a lot of women end up leaving. When a man gets to messing up too bad, she'll stay with you for a while. But she might end up leaving because you, you got to get your stuff together, brother. And then once that woman leave his life, now, watch how fast that man try to do everything he can to get her back. 
Oh, let me go get some more money. Oh, let me get out there and hustle. Let me get out there and do what I got to do to get my woman back. You know, it's just making you better as a man. A lot of women, they hold men accountable. You messing up. You need to get you a job. You need to get you a better job. You need to get off your feet. You need to stop putting your head down. I need you to be the man that I know you to be. You know, a woman can literally speak life into a man. A woman can literally make or break a man. You know, literally, a woman can say, a woman can take away a man's masculinity and a woman can give a man all the masculine energy he needs to be able to get out there and go hustle or go do what he need to do in the world and bring it back home to you. You know what I'm saying? A woman can really make a man better, overall better, happier. The right woman will make you happier. The right woman will give you anything that you possibly could want in life as long as you treat her right. If you treat a woman right, she'll get it's nothing she won't do for you. I'm telling you as a man. Anytime I ever in my life treated a woman just amazing, which I always try to do because you know me, but you know, anytime I've done that, guess what? It was, it was no problem what these women would do for me in return because femininity thrives on love and security. As long as you're treating her right and you making her feel secure and safe and comfortable, this woman, she'll go all out her way for you. This woman will, will, will do anything for you. This woman will be your best friend, your biggest asset, your lifelong partner, your partner in crime. When the world against you, I don't care who against you, your girl got your back. Everybody can be against you. Your mama can, can disown you. Your, your friends and family can turn on you. A lot of people, everybody can turn their back on you. But guess who always there? Guess who love you unconditionally like your mama do? A lot of times it's the woman that you care about and that care about you and that's there for you. Anything you need, anything you want, all you got to do is ask or you ain't even got to ask. She'll do it for you as long as you treat her right. You know what I'm saying? So women literally make men better. Now this man want to dress up now. Now this man want to, you know, wear suits and stuff. Maybe he want to wear bow ties and, you know, button downs like me. Maybe he want to straighten up, you know? Now this man want to get haircuts and stuff so he can appeal to you and look good for you. Now this man, he, he stopped sagging his pants no more. He ain't sagging no more. He pulled his pants up now. You know, I have some respect for you. You know, now this man getting more money because he know I got to get money to be able to maintain this relationship and to make this woman feel secure. So he got to get money and it's making him just better. It's making him more financially stable. It's making him more healthier. Now he eating right. It's making his mind, body, and spirit just at peace. When you have the right woman in your life, she brings you nothing but peace, joy, and happiness. And that's ultimately what a man wants in his life and what a man needs in his life. Because even God, your God, even our God, my God too, he said it's not good for men to be alone. And I'm going to leave that at that, okay? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final reason why the woman is a prize over the men every single time. I'm standing on it. The woman the prize. Yeah, y'all both the prize, blah, blah, blah. The woman the prize. Number five is women are the main ones that are literally raising the next generation. I'll put it like this. Majority of teachers are what? Women, right? Majority of teachers, all teachers, especially grade school teachers, the early, early years, preschool teachers, grade school teachers, elementary school teachers, they're mostly what? Women. Women are raising your kids. <laughs> you raising your kids and other women are raising your kids. It take a village. Most of the teachers in the school system are women. Statistically, you know, statistically, most women are the teachers. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the early, early years of development in a child's life, most of your teachers, you could probably look back and say, yeah, you might have had a couple male teachers, but majority, I guarantee you, 
majority of your teachers, when you look back on all your teachers in your life, when you was in school, was it majority of them women? Yeah, because women are the one raising your kids. And, and just period, a lot of women, just period, that have their own kids are the ones raising them. You know, the man, he always got the option to leave. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, a lot of men, they'll get you pregnant and they'll have sex with you. And then they decide, ah, this ain't really, this ain't really what I want to do. I don't really want to be a father. I changed my mind. I don't want to have nothing to do with this. I'm going to leave and I'm going to live my life or I'm going to start a whole nother family or I'm going to just opt out of, you know, being a father. But that leaves the woman to have to raise the child on her own. And now she's a single mother, you know, and got to raise a child on her own. So she's the one that got to hold down everything while the man gets to go out and live his life and do what he want to do. He gets to go out and have sex, kick it with all these other women and live his life. But you, you got to sit down and you stuck with a baby that you got to raise, right? So the woman is the one raising the next generation. A lot of times the, the man is absent, unfortunately. Yes, there are cases where, you know, the child has both parents in their family, right? I was a product of that where I had both parents in my life, okay? I had both parents in my life. But some people are not as fortunate as me or maybe some of y'all watching this. A lot of y'all grew up without a father, right? Or a lot of y'all grew up without a father figure or maybe your father ain't have nothing to do, ain't want nothing to do with, you know, raising you or didn't have nothing to do with the mother or didn't have nothing to do with, he wanted to leave, live his life, whatever. And your mama was the one raising you, right? Maybe you had other father figures, but the, but the actual biological father was absent, right? So if the woman herself is the one that's raising the next generation and all of her morals and all of her values and everything, everything she thinks, all of her beliefs go into this child. Who's the prize? The man or the woman? Who's the prize? The woman is the one that's carrying the life. She's the one that's feeding the life on her bosom. She's the one in, in school raising your kids mainly Women are the backbones to society. You can argue with whoever you want to argue with, but guess what? You can look around and see who really holding down, who really the glue to the family, the woman, right? The woman is literally the glue to society. Without women, hey, guess what? A lot of things that men do, they wouldn't do it no more. And, you know, not to take away from the single fathers, because there are single fathers or there are a lot of men that do have a helping hand in raising their children. But even if the man is in the household, the mother is still the main one that's more hands on or the main one that got that kind of bond with their child more so than the father. Usually the father, he go out, you know, he make the make the money, he come home, whatever. The woman, the one, you know, stuck there with the baby and feeding the baby. You know what I'm saying? Raising the children. The man got to work and provide for the children and you. But you the one actually raising. You the one, you the main person raising. The woman is the main one raising society. You tell me who the prize is. Y'all tell me and decide for yourself who the prize is, the man or the woman, right? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five reasons why the woman is the actual prize of society, humanity, and civilization, and not men. Even though y'all both the prize, blah, blah, blah. The woman, you already know who the real prize is. Y'all know who the real prize is, y'all, okay? And I'm telling you as a man... I'm always saying we all came out of a woman. The woman is the prize, right? So, ladies, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.